this Wednesday morning. Uh, I'm glad it's Wednesday. Uh, that means church tonight. Praise the Lord. Uh, this is Larry Allison, pastor of Gospel Light Free Will Baptist Bonterre. And uh, I'll be preaching tonight, 7 o'clock service. We really hope you can join us for a great midweek service at Gospel Light Church uh, this evening. It's always a good time uh, with the church family. It really is. Um, glad you've joined us uh, for our Daily with God devotion. Be turning in your Bible to the book of M uh, Mark chapter 8. Mark chapter 8. You that are reading the Bible through with us, here's your reading for today. Numbers, Old Testament, Numbers 28, 29, and 30. Numbers 28 through 30. And your New Testament scripture is Mark chapter 8, verses 22 through 38. Mark 8, verse 22 through 38. Let me ask you a question this morning. Here's the title for the devotion. Is the world worth it? Is the world worth it? We find Jesus, he is uh, dealing with this very issue, and uh, I believe uh, he's asking a question. He's at, and, and you know what? Every time Jesus asked a question, it was never, we've made this clear before, it is never because he didn't know the answer. <laughs> Jesus knows all things. He, he knows all things. He knows what you're thinking. He knows what's in your heart. He knows what's on your mind. Uh, there is no problem. There is nothing that the Lord doesn't already have the answer to. Uh, so anytime the, the Lord asks a question in the scriptures, it's not because he wants to know the answer because he don't know it. It's to make you stop and think. Is You know, back in the beginning, uh, in the book of Genesis, Here's Adam and Eve. They've sinned against God, and now they're naked, hiding in the garden from the presence of God. And God says, Adam, where art thou? Well, I can tell you this. God knew where Adam was all along. <laughs> no question about that. But he asked the question so Adam would see himself as he really was, naked and sinful in the eyes of a holy God. He had rebelled. He had disobeyed his God. Well, Jesus is going to ask a question in these verses. And you know what? It's to make us also stop and think. Is the world really worth it? Here's the question. You know what? Is losing your soul really worth a bit of the world for a season? And I say for a season because you're only here uh, like a, our life is like a vapor is what James says. Man, we're here and poof, we're gone in comparison to eternity. And what if you could gain the whole world right now? And every time I read that verse, I cannot help it. I, 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 I get it. I get it. It's hypothetical. What if you really could gain the whole world? Everything. I mean everything. Would it really still be worth losing your soul over to have this world for a little season and then to go into eternity lost without Christ? without hope, without salvation, and go to a devil's hell forever and forever and forevermore? Would, it, would, would your piece of the world, is it really worth losing your soul over? That's the question today. Here it is. Let's read it in, uh, in the book of Mark chapter uh, 8. Mark chapter 8. And let's just read, follow with me, verses thirty. 4 through 37. And when he had called all the people unto him with his disciples also, he said unto them, Whosoever will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. All this, it's always the right thing to follow Jesus. But notice what he begins to say in these next few verses. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. But whosoever shall lose his life for my sake and the gospels, the same shall save it. Here's the question. Are you ready? Here's the question. I want you to give an honest answer today. For what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? You know, when you purchase anything, you got to count the cost. <laughs> you really do. If you was going out to buy a home, 
uh, and maybe some acreage or some property along with that home, one of the very first things you'd want to do is, uh, hey, can I afford this? Can I, if I buy it, if I sign the dotted line, do I have the money to pay for it? Well, that's a pretty important question. You know, can, can I afford this? Uh, if you're going to buy a car, uh, any, anytime we make a purchase of anything, we got to realize, uh, two, two things really we need to realize when we're, when we're making a commitment, uh, to purchase something. You got to count the cost. Number one, can you afford it? And number two, is it worth what you're going to give? <laughs> okay. Can you afford it? That's, uh, you need to know that for sure. And number two, is it worth what you're going to give? Both of those questions deserve a good valid answer. But now when we get to talking about the soul of man, man, we are talking about your eternity. We're talking about when breath leaves your body, the very last time, you are going to soar out into eternity forever and forever and forever somewhere, either to be with the Lord, praise God, or you're going to die lost in your sins and go to a devil's hell. And then one day at the great white throne judgment, you'll be brought out of hell for that final judgment and then cast into the lake of fire forever and forevermore. Listen, and it is there you will not perish. It, it is there you will still endure the pain for all of eternity. It isn't like just throwing a log in a fire and it burns up and it's gone. No, listen, you will have a conscious eternal existence somewhere. So when I say, can you afford it? What, what if you want to gain the whole world and all the sin that it offers? All the, all the ungodliness and all, all the things that seem to go along with worldliness. Is that really what you want today? Well, number one, can you afford it? When, when I say, can you afford it? Would you give your soul for it? Because that's absolutely exactly what some of you folks have given. You have rejected Christ as your Savior. You have denied Jesus as the Son of God and the Savior in your life. You are seeming, it seems like you're determined to die in your sins and die lost. And if you gain the, you're part of the world, and by the way, it's not much because it's here today and gone tomorrow. If you gain that, can you afford it? Because it's going to cost you your soul. It's going to cost you an eternity in hell. And then that second question, is it worth what you give? <laughs> Not only can you afford it, by the way, you cannot afford it. And is it worth what you give? Is the world worth losing your soul? And I tell you what, I don't, I don't want to be offensive to anybody today. It would be an absolute fool to say, yeah, it's worth it. I don't care if I die lost. I don't care if I go to hell. Hey, it's the fool that has said there is no God. What a foolish thing would be to say, I can pay the price. I think it's worth it. I'll just go ahead and give my soul. I'll go to hell for just a little season of sin, for just my little part of the world. And listen, that'd be the most foolish thing you ever said in your life if you said that. For whatever reason, you might be rejecting Christ today. I don't really know. But I think it's time for you to wake up and get serious about giving your heart to Christ. Number one, can you afford it? You cannot afford to lose your soul. Will it be worth it to gain the world for a season? It'll not be worth it all at all to lose your soul. You need Christ. Everything has a price. Why, even our salvation had a price. But the good news is Jesus Christ paid my sin debt in full when he died on the cross for my sins. And the good news is, the good news of the gospel, he died and paid for your sins also. Be a good day for you to get saved. It could be a good day for you to count the cost. Is the world really worth it? I can tell you right up now, because I've read the book, the world is not worth it. You need Jesus. Trust, trust him today. Be a good day to get saved. Pray with me. 
Father, we thank you for the scripture today that has dealt with our heart with a real question about us counting the cost. Lord, counting the cost. What would it cost us to gain the world and lose our soul? Lord Jesus, I, I pray that the Holy Spirit will deal with somebody's heart this morning, save the lost, reclaim the backslider, be a good day for somebody to get serious with God. And Lord, get it settled. Get it settled. How foolish it would be to die without Christ, to die in our sins, to leave this world without a Savior. How foolish it would be to think that it would be worth it to gain the world and lose our soul. Lord, bring Holy Ghost conviction today where it is needed, I pray, and give victory. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, here's your scripture for tomorrow. Numbers, Thursday morning scripture, Numbers 31, 32, and 33, and the book of Mark, chapter 9, the first 29 verses. Mark, chapter 9, the first 29 verses. God bless you. We are so glad you have joined us today. It's so good to have you with us in these Daily with God devotions. And again, I'll say this again. Hey, it's Wednesday. We sure hope you'll meet us at church tonight. I'm preaching tonight and just looking for a great service in God's house. Lord bless you.